Hey guys, today I'm going to teach you how to do one of my two signature looks that I wear all the time. So if you guys want to see how I achieve this look, go ahead and keep on watching. I've already done my face powder and filled in my brows. Now I'm going to take my e.l.f. eyelid primer, which is one of my favorites, and I'm going to use the same doe foot applicator that it comes with to apply this product all over my entire eyelid. As you can see, I'm doing a thicker layer of this because I wanted to create a nice base for the eyeshadows that I'm going to be using here coming up. I'm dragging it out into a V shape because this is the eye shape that I'm going to be using for my eyeshadow look. Now I'm taking a flat shading brush and I'm using my Wet n Wild palette in Comfort Zone. I'm using this really pretty sage color up at the top. As you can see, it's my favorite color. I've hit pan on it. I'm going to apply it all over my eyelid in a padding motion and I want to make sure to do this until I get the desired color payoff that I want. I'm making sure to get all the eyeshadow color on the outer V that I applied with primer. Now I'm just going over my crease and making sure that it's nicely blended and that it looks even. Now I'm going to take my blending brush and I'm going to use this really pretty green color from the same palette. I'm going to be applying this in the crease of my eye and in my outer V. You can do strokes or you can do circular motions, whatever is easier for you. You just want to make sure that you've done a nice blending job and that it makes a nice gradual transition from one color to the other. I'm going to take my flat shader brush again and I'm going to use the lighter first color that I used at the beginning and I'm going to apply some more of this onto my eyelid again. I felt that too much of the green had gotten onto the eyelid and I wanted that color to still pop. Now I'm using my big fluffy brush to remove any fallout that I've gotten from the eyeshadow. I'm taking my blending brush again that I've already cleaned and I'm using this light eyeshadow color on the other side of the palette and I'm going to be applying this on my brow bone to highlight the eyeshadow look and I'm also bringing it down into the crease to make sure that everything blends and transitions flawlessly. I'm using Urban Decay's 24-7 Waterproof Liner in black, which I really like. It's a deep, dark black. As you can see, I have a little teeny bit of a mess up here, but not to worry. If this happens to you, just let the eyeliner sit for a couple of minutes. Then you can take either your nail or a dry Q-tip and you can easily take it off without it ruining the rest of your eyeshadow. I'm going to create the wing to the eyeliner. I'm basically just creating a stroke that goes towards the end of my eyebrow. And then I'm going to connect that in a triangle shape to the other line that we've drawn on our eyelid. And then you just fill it all in. I think that applying eyeliner is one of the hardest makeup techniques, but you definitely do improve with practice. I know that I've been doing this for a while and I still have mess ups myself, but don't get discouraged. Just keep on practicing and I'm sure you'll do great. I'm going to take my Jordana Best Lash Extreme Volumizing Mascara in black and I'm going to apply it to my eyelashes. Next I'm going to take this blush brush and I'm going to take my e.l.f. Studio Blush in Fusia Fusion and I'm going to go ahead and apply this to the apple of my cheeks. After I've applied my blush, I like to take this big fluffy brush and run it along my face just to make sure that my blush is nicely blended and I don't have any blotchy spots or too much in one spot. Lastly, I'm wearing this Revlon Just Kissable Lip Balm Stain in Sweetheart, and I love using these stains because they stay on all day and I don't have to worry about reapplying lipstick. The only thing is the shine does go away after a little while, but they still stain the lips, which is great. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you did by giving it a thumbs up. If you like my channel, I would love for you guys to subscribe. Leave any comments down below, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!